Hi, kids. Today we will learn division, where we find quotient in decimals. So let's start. We distributed sixteen liters of water equally in five buckets. How much water will be there in each bucket? So we have to divide sixteen here with five. First digit is smaller than our divisor. That is one here. So divide first two digits. That is sixteen. The multiple of five smaller and nearest to sixteen is fifteen. Five multiplied by three equals fifteen. So write three in quotient and write fifteen. Below first two digits of dividend. Now subtract fifteen from sixteen, and we get one. Now there is no digit in the dividend left, and one is less than five, so one is our remainder. If sixteen liters of water is divided into five buckets, each bucket will have three liters of water. At least, and one liter is left undivided. Now, what about that one liter which is left? If we want to find how sixteen liters of water will be completely divided into three buckets, we will divide this one liter further, and our answer will be in decimals. Now, that's what we are going to learn now. Finding answer in decimals, or keep on dividing the number which is less than the divisor. So let's learn it. When the number left to be divided is less than remainder, we put a decimal point at the right of quotient and put a zero at the right of our remainder. I repeat, we put a decimal at the right of quotient. And a zero at the right of number. We have to divide. Now we have to divide ten by five. Five multiplied by two equals ten. So write two in quotient, right to the decimal, and write ten below ten. Now subtract ten from ten, and we get zero. No remainder is left. Or We have done the complete division. Our answer is three point two. That means if we divide sixteen liters of water into five buckets, each bucket will have three point two liters of water. Kids, here is a comparison for you. Here is division, where we stop the division when we get a number which is less than divisor or We call it our remainder. An answer is always a whole number. And here is division, where we keep on dividing even number, which is less than divisor, and our answer comes in decimals. Now let's have a look at more examples. We have to divide two hundred and sixty-seven by twelve. And find quotient in decimals. First, we will divide twenty-six by twelve. Multiply twelve, which is less than or equal to twenty-six, is twenty-four. Twelve multiplied by two equals twenty-four. So write two in the quotient. Twenty-four below. First two digits of dividend and subtract. On subtraction, we get two. Now the digit left in the dividend to be divided is seven. Bring it down. Now we have to divide twenty-seven by twelve. The nearest multiple of twelve is twenty-four. Twelve multiplied by two equals twenty-four. So write two to the right of the quotient and. Twenty-four below twenty-seven. Now subtract twenty-four from twenty-seven. On subtracting, we get three. 
Now, three is less than divisor, which is 12. So if you do not have to find the quotient in decimals, then our answer is 22, and three is our remainder. Or, we have to find the answer to the quotient of up to two decimal places. So, what we do here is, put a decimal point to the right of quotient and a zero to the right of the number left, that is three. Now, we have to divide the number 30 with 12. Now again, the nearest. Again, the multiple of 12 nearest and smaller than 30 is 24. 12 multiplied by 2 is 24. So write 2 to the right of the quotient and 24 below 30 and subtract. On subtraction, we get 6. Again, we have to divide 6 with 12. Once you have put decimal in the quotient, you can put 0 to the left of the number, left. So, you can put 0 to the right of 6 without appending any 0 in the quotient. So, we have to divide 60 by 12, and the nearest multiple of 12 is 60. 12 multiplied by 5 equals 60. So write 5 in the quotient and write 60 below 60. And on subtracting, we get 0. So we have done complete division, and our answer is 22.25. Kids, now let's take one more example to learn more. We have to divide 100 by 3. Remember, we have to find quotient just up to two decimal places, even if the number is not completely divided. So let's start. For dividing first two digits, we find multiple of 3 less than equal to 10. 3 multiplied by 3 equals 9. So write 3 in quotient and 9 below 10 and subtract. On subtraction, we get 1. Now, one digit is left in the dividend. It's 0, so bring it down. Now again, we have to divide 10. 3 multiplied by 3 equals 9. So write 3 in quotient and 9 below 10. Now subtract. On subtraction, we get 1. Now 1 is less than the divisor, that is 3. Now all the digits in the dividend are divided. No more digit is left. If we are not asked to find the answer in decimals, then 1 is remainder here, and 33 is quotient. But we will find the answer in decimals. So what we do here is put a decimal to the right of quotient, and a zero to the number left, that is one. Now again, we have to divide 10 by three. Three multiplied by three equals nine. So write three in the quotient and nine below 10. On subtracting, we get one. Now, as we have decimal in the quotient, we can put zero to the right of the number left, to be divided again. So, put 0, the left, of 1. And we get 10. Now again, divide 10 with 3. 3 multiplied by 3 is 9. So write 3 in the quotient and 9 below 10. On subtracting, we get 1 again. We had to solve the question up to three decimal places, and we are done with it. Our answer is 33.33, .33 and remainder, 1. So kids, today we learned how to find quotient up to the position of two decimal places. Now you may go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye.
Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects.